Thank you for tuning in to the NAFI YouTube channel for another FAA regulatory and policy update video. I'm Sarah Stout, the Program Development Manager here at NAFI. If you aren't already a NAFI member, please consider joining us. NAFI memberships are what keep this content coming. You can even save $5 on your NAFI membership using the code REGSAVE5, that's R-E-G-S-A-V-E-5, at checkout on nafimentor.org. Let's jump into what's new this month. We have five topics to cover in this July 2025 FAA Regulatory and Policy Update video. First, some information about the FAA's new NOTAM system coming soon. Second, our updates from the June Airman Testing Community Advisory, which includes some references to the long-anticipated Mosaic Rule. More changes coming to instrument approach charts. Updates to FAA policy on safety management systems, including voluntary programs for Part 141 and 142 operators. And finally, an update to Advisory Circular 9157. Unless otherwise discussed, references to all of these topics can be found in the video description. In a virtual presentation held on June 30, 2025, the FAA provided industry members with an update on the forthcoming modernized NOTAM system. Beginning later this month, the FAA anticipates having the new NOTAM management service available for user testing. October is the anticipated onboarding date for general deployment. Pilots who receive their NOTAMs through a third party, such as an electronic flight bag, will likely initially see little change as this is mostly a technology upgrade to make the service more modern and reliable. Over time, it is anticipated that third party providers will have more flexibility in how they display NOTAM information. At this time, the format of raw NOTAMs sourced directly from the FAA will not change due to other policy. The FAA does not have a dedicated page to resources on this topic, and the recent webinar was not recorded. I've included links to a few press releases and information from other aviation organizations for your reference in the video description. Also on June 30th, the FAA published the latest Airman Testing Community Advisory. The handbook section mentions that five handbooks have had addendums developed to harmonize with the upcoming Modernization of Special Airworthiness Certificate, or MOSAIC rule. These addendums will be posted to the FAA website on the MOSAIC rule publishing date, which becomes effective 90 days later. The five handbooks are the Airplane Flying Handbook, Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, Weight Shift Control Aircraft Flying Handbook, Powered Parachute Flying Handbook, and Weight and Balance Handbook. Additionally, in response to the anticipated Mosaic Rule, sport pilot knowledge tests have been revised where necessary, and two new tests have been created for helicopter simplified controls. These will become active on the Mosaic effective date 90 days after the publication date. The knowledge testing matrix will also be revised at that time. The Community Advisory also reports that on June 18, 2025, the FAA implemented changes to the Flight Instructor Airman Knowledge Test questions to align with last fall's final rule that changed Flight Instructor Recent Experience requirements and Flight Instructor Reinstatement options. In a July 3, 2025 charting notice, the FAA announced that redundant communications data will be removed from Instrument Approach Procedure Charts beginning with the October 2, 2025 publication date to further reduce chart clutter. Departure ATIS, clearance delivery, and the availability of controller pilot data link communications will not be charted when the information is on the corresponding airport diagram. On July 10, 2025, several chapters and sections of Volume 17, Safety Management System, of the 8900.1 Flight Standards Information Management System, have been updated or introduced. While compliance with the voluntary program is optional for Part 141 and 142 operators, and there is no mention of Part 61 operators, 
This guidance is available for all flight training providers to review and gain an understanding of SMS programs and consider incorporating some of the key ideas and functions into your operation. Finally, for this video, while Advisory Circular 9157, exception for limited recreational operations of unmanned aircraft, isn't used daily by the average flight instructor, I felt it was still relevant to include here because there's value in understanding how and where other aircraft will be operating in the airspace system. This advisory circular was revised on June 24, 2025 to the new version AC9157 Delta. This change updates and separates content that was previously contained in Chapter 3 into a new Chapter 4. This new chapter covers fixed sites and community-based organizations' aviation events. That's it for this month. Thank you again for tuning in to this video series. Remember to join NAFI at nafimentor.org and save $5 off your membership with code REGSAVE5. We'll see you again next month.